Okay, uh, I'm gonna do a demonstration, I guess. I don't know what to call it. I'm just going to discuss why I like Photoshop Sky, Sky Replacement, Sky Enhancement, whatever you wanna call it, Sky Mask, better than Lightroom's. In terms of um, quickness, <laughs> um, so, I, I like, I have this overcast sky with this family and I really like it. It's great. Uh, but when I did the sky mask, I've got all this weird stuff going on right here. And obviously I've got this line which shows up in everyone's photos. Um, and it just, I don't know, it just looks, it didn't look right. And I can go in and subtract this with a, um, like a really low opacity brush and clean it up. Yeah, I can do that. Um, and, and maybe it's just my brain and the way I think and the way I, I don't know. But I'm gonna show you an alternative way in Photoshop where the mask I think is far superior than Lightroom's. You have way more control um, and you don't have to replace the sky. You can use the same sky. So I'm going to show you how to do that. Um, let's just delete that mask. Oh, not that one. <laughs> I deleted all the masks. Okay. All right, cool. And I have a toddler that's running around the house. She may or may not, you know be a toddler. Um, okay, so I'm going to press Control E to open this up in Photoshop. Mm. I also want to mention I'm using uh, Lady Tori's Lightroom presets on this particular one. <sighs> I'm not sure actually what preset I used at all. Um, it might, it was, I, it was a candescent one, but it didn't matter. It doesn't matter because I, I changed everything. <laughs> like I, I changed a lot of it because the colors just weren't working for me, but a candescent is a great base to work with. If you like that creamy skin, dramatic look. Um, so that's, but I also, I just got her new enriched Lightroom brush pack and that is what I use to clean up their skin and stuff. And actually I can kind of show you, here, I'm going to cover this up, um, so I used, um, okay, I used Candescent 1 on this, I changed, here, I'll just go through it, so that's the original, and that's with the preset applied, obviously it's too dark. Change the exposure, still crazy looking. I did a bunch of stuff, orange saturation, red saturation, luminance. Okay, and looks like, I, oh, okay, I reset the settings. <laughs> I didn't like it, but I did use candescent too. Uh, so I actually, so what you can do with these presets, which is really cool, you can change your exposure and stuff and then apply the preset and it's a little bit better. Um, I don't know, it just helps me in my brain. So I did dark tones, highlight tones, white, light tones, all these different tones. Um, okay, um, okay, it looks like I reset the settings again. <laughs> this is how I edit. And then I use candescent five. Change the exposure, vibrance, and then I did orange, yellow, saturation, luminance. Um, okay, I finally got it to, to here. And then I was like, okay, I'm going to work from here. So I added a subject brush. And then I subtracted the mom and the kid, the, the son. And then I just messed with it, messed with it, messed with it. I think I used, um, what did I use? I think I might have used beautiful glowy skin right here. 
And then, see, I did a bunch of stuff. Update shadows, temperature, contrast, exposure, contrast, black, shadows, dehaze, add brush, update brush, update brush, update brush, color tint. I mean, look at all this stuff I did. So now we're here. I actually, I went, um, and I messed with the midtones here, so that's why it looks a lot different. Very powerful tool in your tool belt. Those, um, not the midtones, but the uh, color grading. Excuse me. Color grading, very powerful tool in your tool belt, as well as calibration. Um, super powerful, which I cannot show to you because this is not my preset to show. Okay. Um, so, I'm going to delete all of this stuff so my, I'm not running, it, so it's not just like crazy um, slow. So before I do any actions or anything, I think I'm going to replace not replace, I'm going to enhance the sky, but how I'm going to do that is I'm going to go to edit, sky replacement. So what this is doing basically, it's, yes, it's replacing the sky, but it's creating a mask for me. And it's way better than the one that Lightroom creates, in my opinion. So, um, see, it already looks cool. Like this sky would be great to use. I love that, honestly, on, obviously, I would have to do some adjusting, um, Gaussian blur on it, all that stuff, because it doesn't match the background and it looks a little ridiculous and fake right now. But I'm going to keep the original sky that was there because we had a good sky day. So, although I will say mom did want a pretty glowy um, photo shoot and it was a little overcast, but it got glowy later, so we'll see. If she ends up wanting more sun, glowy stuff, then we'll just do that for her. That's fine. Okay, so I'm here. I've got, this is what I want right here. Oh, wait, you probably can't see it. Okay, this is what I'm looking for. This guy right here. This mask, that, that's the ticket. So I'm going to go ahead and I never use this foreground lighting and the foreground color, I just always delete those layers. Every now and then I'll keep, usually, I don't know, not that one, ever. I'll usually keep foreground colors, like sometimes, like this one it wouldn't be bad because it kind of helps the highlights, but I mean, whatever. It's, it's going to go away. I'm deleting it. Okay, so I'm going to right click on my main image right here. Right click, I'm gonna duplicate that layer and I'm going to call it dark sky. So, from here, I'm gonna hide this. Uh, I am going to go to image adjustments and let's do um, curves. I'm gonna darken the sky. So I'm gonna take this hand tool right here. I'm going to put my dropper on a part of it that I want to focus on, to darken. I'm going to bring it down. And I'm going to adjust. I'm not looking at the people at all. I'm looking at the sky. Haha. <laughs> okay. So I'm going to increase my contrast and just mess with the layers until I like it. Whatever, it's fine. Um, now I'm going to go to color balance and I want to add in, I want to add in, mm, let's add in a little yellow. Uh, let's just, I don't know, let's just try that. I'm doing this really quickly because I'm like, whatever. So now I'm going to drag this 
um, this one, the mask, onto my image where I just fixed the sky. There we go. So, and I, you can't see it on your monitor, like on a YouTube video, but in the Lightroom version of this, his hat had some weird stuff going on, like these little weird dots, and it was just a bunch of stuff, weird stuff going on. But with the Photoshop version of this mask, it is much more clean. And a lot of times in Lightroom, it will actually um, like take the highlights from the hair and stuff like that and apply it to that sky mask so their hair will get the sky in it. And yeah, you can brush it away, no problem, and you should, but there's just so much more control with this and it's much cleaner. And actually, I'm even going to clean up this line right here. It just gets on my nerves so bad. And how I do that is I'm taking my black brush. I'm setting my opacity, I don't know, like 30 something. I'm going to turn my flow about halfway. I'm going to brush it off. Just to, oops. Oh, I have the, I don't have my black. I have a white brush. Okay. Black brush. I'm just going to, because naturally, um, the sky tends to get lighter towards the horizon anyway. So I'm just adding some realism in here. So there, and in, and from here, now that I don't have to stare at like how I'm affecting them, I can even click on this image again with the dark sky and adjust it even more. So let's say, I don't know, hue saturation. Turn up the saturation on it. And make it dark, light, change the hue. I mean, yeah, do, I mean, do whatever you need to do to it. And I'm also gonna take out these power lines and this, um, power pole and you can kind of see the buffalo in the background so what I'm gonna do now I'm gonna take a snapshot of this in case I see something messed up later I can go back and clean it up and I mean yeah I'll have to delete everything you did <laughs> so I'm going to delete this other sky I didn't use and um, I'm going to shift control E to merge all those layers. You can do control E, but shift control E merges all the layers plus their masks and just everything, everything visible. So if you have um, your eyeball unclicked, you know, I have a layer hidden, um, it's not gonna merge that because it's hidden. So um, what else do I wanna do to this? I wonder, see I have this new action that I made, it's called Tones, it kind of cools it down, but it, I don't know, let's just run it and see what happens. Uh, kind of desaturated it. I mean, no, I don't like it. Um... Let's, okay, I want to do, put some deeper blacks on to just their clothes. So let's see what that looks like. And I'm going to make sure my brush is turned back up all the way. Um, yeah, so my deeper blacks action, it makes everything pop. And obviously it creates deeper blacks, but it adds like a ton of contrast. So you would want to put this on people's faces, um, but it's great for clothes, sometimes hair. Uh, I kind of made her hair look orange, so maybe not her hair right now. But I always like to put it in the corners. Um, and if it's too contrasty or if it's too uh, saturated for you, I have an action for that. Or you could just do the paint on darkness. If you're only wanting that darkness. Um, 
So, yeah. It just added like some depth to it. Um, so I'm going to merge those layers and let's try, I wanna see what it looks like if I run fixed skin yellows. I mean, actually, let's turn it down. I don't know. I made him look pink. Really, I'm having issues with greens in this photo, and I think it's just because I've been staring at it too long. So, what did I say I had an action for I wanted to show you? Oh yeah, for less uh, saturation. So actually, it's not an action yet, but it can be. Um, I made a preset for my curves um, called Less Contrast. Oh, oh, and Calm the Brights, that might... Uh, that's um, my Make It Moody action, actually, which is awesome. I love. No, I don't like that at all. Okay, Calm the Brights. Um, I kind of like what it did with the sky, but the people are, you know. Let's do that, and let's brush it off our subjects and see, see how I like it. Because I honestly, I needed to calm the brights right here, because like her necklace and her white shirt are, are doing some things. You know, they're like way too bright. So, okay, let's brighten up his face, her face, and let's just brighten up her shirt too. And we will brighten up everything on dad except for his hat, I believe. <sighs> Make sure dad's all good and brightened. I mean, I don't know. Is it too dark? Mm. You know what? I think, I think I like it without the moodiness. So I'm just going to brighten up everything but his hat and the, um, the sky. And so now I've got this weird thing going on where the sky is like really blue and they look like they're kind of, you know, sunny and warm. Um, so I, if I really wanted to, I mean, I don't know if I want to warm up the sky necessarily. Let's just try it. I've got my warm it action. So they look ridiculously warm and not good, but the sky looks warmer, so let's just brush the warmth off of them and see how the sky looks. See how we like it. Actually, you know what? I'm gonna brush that warmth back onto this buffalo right here, make him pop. brush some warmth into, yeah, into the grass and stuff. Why not? Okay. So let's see how I like that. That's without the warmth. That's, I like it. I like it with the warmth. Yeah. And you know, <laughs> how I end every single one of my videos is like, I just need to stop messing with it. I just need to stop messing with it. But we're not done because I've got to take this power pole out. So I'm gonna use um, my, what is this, spot healing? And do that. Boop. Um, I'm not gonna use spot healing for this because it always ends up looking not, not how I want it to. So I'm going to use this other one. I, I forget the names, healing, healing brush. Um, or you have to press Alt and select a source. And well, 
that's not gonna look good. All right, you know what? I don't have time for this. I'm just gonna use my patch tool. Well, you know what? It's so light. I, I wonder if the spot healing brush. Nah, it's fine. Uh, and you know, if it's too much trouble, I'll just keep it. I'll just keep the power lines. Yeah, I don't like that. Here. I'm just gonna take out the obvious. Obviously though, if a customer was like, please take out the power lines, I would do that. But you know, I don't need to spend a whole lot of time on something if they don't even care. You know, if it doesn't make a difference to them, then, you know, why waste your time? I mean, unless you personally are going to use this photo, okay, that looks bad, for, you know, advertising purposes and it just bothers you so much that you've got this power line in there, you know, take it out, whatever. But. Let's see if that doesn't look too weird. No. And you can't even really tell. Mm, you still kind of see it, but I'm not mad about it. It's fine. Okay. So now looking, I'm looking at this now, and they, um, sometimes you have to walk away and come back. They look really, um, they, maybe they look really yellow to me right now because I've been staring at this blue sky really intently, but they just look super yellow. So I'm going to see if I can fix that. Um, I'm going to run my less orange action. Mm, I just really brighten them up. Let's see if I turn the opacity way down. Mm, I don't know. I don't want them to look like they're glowing. So I'm going to go to adjustments. I have some presets that I haven't made into actions yet. Um, so let's see. Okay, I've got calm the greens, cool the skin, fix greens and yellows, which I think is what I call tones one. Green skin correction, orange hay, red skin correction. Okay. Um, hmm. I wonder what happens if I do green skin correction. Oh. Nah. Nah, I just made them pink. Um, what happens? Fix greens and yellows. Oh yeah, that's the tones. I wonder if I'll like it if I just brush it off everywhere else. So keep the rest of the photo warm and have the, the subjects not so warm. I mean, actually, I do like that. I do like that. I'm going to brush the warmth back onto their clothes, though. I kind of like their skin. I, you know, maybe I'll regret it when I see it on a different monitor. But for now, I think I like their skin better, not... Yeah. I'm going to turn it down a bit, though. Add some saturation back into their skin. Okay. I like it. I think they'll like it. I could I could honestly do this for you know, an hour, which I think I'm at 30 minutes now on one photo. And then I'll get it back into Lightroom and 
I still like adjust stuff and you know, so I'm just like, can't just stop. Anyway, so now I can save this and send it to her as a sneak peek and um, then she'll be like, oh my god, I love it, it's so good, and my family's so cute. And then you'll be like, yay. So, anyway. Um, yeah, let me know, um, let me know in the comments if you would like to see, if you personally would edit this less warm, more warm. I know a lot of people edit super, super warm and it's like a thing. And I personally like, um, I, I just can't, I can't handle the super orange stuff. I mean, I like to edit a little warmer, yes, but I feel like a lot of my photos also have an undertone of coolness to them. Um, just because I, I can't do the orange. I just can't. <laughs> so yeah, let me know in the comments if uh, what you would change about this photo if it were yours. You know, what you would do. Um, I'm always curious to know, like, different people's takes on different photos. You know, people post in Facebook groups and they're like, how would you edit this photo? I mean, I've never done that, but I think it's really interesting to see what people do to, to things. So, anyway, until next time.